Okay, so um, there's our new motor. So far, um, what I've done to this since the uh, last run in the video, I've shaved two mil off the head, um, lift the compression right up. We're probably close to 13 to 1 now by measurement. Um, and also added our variable main jet, and we've almost doubled the efficiency of this motor straight up. Um, of course we'll do a run before we do the hydrogen run but uh, this is just an update video there's our generator um, the load I've added an extra coil here this load at 3000 rpm is very close to half a kilowatt so quite substantial um, and also our hydrogen or HHO setup is um, pretty much well ready to go. I just have to make a uh, bubbler now before we go into the motor and then um, make up the manifold for the motor to take the gas. So we'll give it a quick run up. Uh, the cell is not switched as I'm at the moment, it's just hooked directly onto the generator. Um, I'll turn the load off, which is that. We'll start it up and um, have a look at what's going on there. Okay, so as you can see, a copious amounts of gas, um, no problem there. This cell, of course, is the one that um, Daryl donated to me um, at his own cost, made the cell, and paid for shipping the whole lot, sent it with KOH, everything, um, with the container. So, um, of course, once again, that's much appreciated, Daryl. This uh, cell has been put to use once again to uh, solve the claim. Does HHO make a difference? So of course if you haven't seen all the previous videos, the last four or five, um, you won't know what's going on here but um, go back and uh, watch them and then you'll be up to speed. We changed the motor. Um, as seen in the last videos we had a little two horsepower side valve. Uh, we now have a 6 horsepower, which I'm guessing now that we shaved 2 mil off the head and lift the compression right, -o, right up. Um, it's going to be a little bit more than that. So our uh, plan is to do a run without the HHO and record 
how many watt hours we get per 100 mil of fuel on our load then we switch on our HHO unit while it's still running one continual run so it'll be a long video the next one and um, we once again see how many watt hours we get for our 100 mil load with our HHO running of course a um, HHO system is being fed from the same generator so the motor will be supplying the power that's running the HHO that's being delivered back to the motor so all the gurus say um, that it's a loss situation there is no gain and um, we're going to find out if that is true or not in the next video uh, so we're not just starting with a standard motor we've um, like I said machined the head down um, increased the compression ratio adjusted the fuel mix to its optimum performance the spark plug is running a nice light grey now so um, we can't do anything more to increase the efficiency of the motor um, the only thing I haven't done which I also have to do is um, adjust the timing a little um, we may get away with it we'll do a run with the timing set as standard but uh, normally when you run HHO through a motor you increase the um, flame speed of your combustion gases inside the cylinder which means you have to retard the timing a little closer to top dead centre but we'll see how we go we'll do a uh, run standard trim first with and without the HHO and we'll see if there is any gain and uh, we'll see if the claim is true the gurus say it's not the HHO guys, guys say there is a gain um, I have seen the results of this kind of test before um, some of you may have seen my video from many years ago this one is uh, much more controlled we have our watt hour gauge which gives us our watts going to the load um, our watt hours after 100 mil of fuel, our amp hours, everything we need to know that gauge is going to tell us and our load remains constant so um, of course when we add the HHO unit the motor is going to bog down a little we will have to adjust to make sure this load is going to be the same um, but we'll get it pretty close alright guys thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you for the grand finale next video keep an eye out for that and um, please share with all your friends what we're doing here because uh, this will put it to bed once and for all